Just wanted to go through quickly. So I'm going to be doing the rear brake pads in my R36. Um, I have OBD11. I don't have a VCDS brand tool. Um, now, mine's Pro. I believe you can do the all the same things with it. I haven't found a thing yet that I can't do. So I'm just going to confirm that with this video. So batteries on charge as you can see. Now um, this process of actually replacing the rear brake pads and winding the caliper in via a scan tool etc is absolutely identical to the uh, Rostec slash VCDS tutorial that's on YouTube. I'll link that video down below. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start by going into Get out of the sun there a little bit. Go into measuring block 53, otherwise known as parking brake. So there we are, 53 parking brake. You want to make sure that you've cycled the handbrake, so on then off. It's off now. You want to go into your basic settings. You've got enter channel, so it's 07 to open the, the parking brake or 06 to close it and there's also I can't remember what it is to um, do the handbrake test but we've got a little drop down up here so we'll just go into the drop down up here and there you go close rear parking brake open rear parking brake parking brake function test so what we want to do is open it that will wind using the motor wind the piston all the way back then we can essentially put a screwdriver or a lever bar in there gently lever the caliper forward undo the bottom bolt swing the caliper up replace your brake pads swing the caliper down put the bolt back in and then you close the caliper again so it's pretty simple the same sort of way that you would do it in the tutorial this isn't going to be a full-on tutorial it's just showing that obd11 can do it uh, so let's go ahead and, and open them up and see what it does There we go. So now I would go and replace my brake pads and, you know, close it back up, uh, sorry, pull it back down again, put the bolts in, I'd do that for both sides. And then after I'm finished, I would simply go into um, measuring block uh, and go into close the rear parking brake. There you go. So all done. As you can see, I've already replaced these rear pads. They're brand new pads. Um, so I've just done this. I know it works, but I just thought I'd do a quick video on to show you guys that OBD11 um, via a smartphone, which is a lot less expensive than buying the official VCDS and the, the, the plug that works and uh, all that sort of thing and have it limited to however many VINs you have, etc, etc. So um, look for what I paid for this. It was $100 plus a little bit extra for the Pro Unlock. Um, that's Australian dollars, if you can't tell by my accent. Um, it works for everything that I, uh, that I need it to. Um, you don't have to purchase any credits. You can go into your adaptations and essentially add and change everything that you want. I've got a few error codes there because I've been changing stuff, which apparently the vehicle doesn't have. So, um, but yeah, you can go in and turn things on like your rain sensing windows up and your, um, you know, your, your passenger seat and driver's seat, easy entry and things like that. You can just go in and switch it all on. You don't actually have to buy the credits like the, um, the non-pro, um, OBD 11. So I definitely recommend getting the pro and saving yourself some credits there. Um, but yeah, look, it's, it's a great tool. It's just an alternative tool. It, it probably does just as good a job as VCDS. Some people will argue differently. But um, yeah, you can use what you want. 